Hello, I'm Fenwick Huss, Dean of the Zicklin School of Business, and it's my pleasure today to introduce you to Linda Allen, who holds the Aldinger Chair in Banking and Finance in our department. We're delighted to meet you again, Linda, and I wanted to spend a little time talking about your research, but before we do that, perhaps you could share a little bit about uh, your background and how you wound up at the Zicklin School of Business, and maybe what was your first job? Who, who was the first person to give you a paycheck? Sure, sure. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me today. And um, I'm a CUNY girl. Uh, um, if it wasn't for CUNY, I probably would not have gone to college. My parents couldn't afford to send uh, me to college. That's the CUNY I'm, story. <laughs> I, I am really one, of, so I really do understand our students who struggle to achieve. Yes. Well, let's move now to your research. You, you've done some research recently on the influence of social interactions on things like peer-to-peer -peer lending. Yes. Tell us what got you interested in that and what sort of questions you're addressing. Yes. So. Um, I mean, if you wanted to find a common theme, a uh, thread through my research over the many years, um, I think you would find that it was information, mm -hmm. which may be somewhat surprising because I hold the chair in banking and finance, right. where's the connection to information? But surprisingly, or, or not, uh, not generally known perhaps, is that banks really were the very first information companies. Mm -hmm. Their business is not money. It's really in generating information, mm -hmm. information about customers, borrowers, depositors, companies, mm -hmm. securities markets. They generate that information, they gather that information, and they utilize it in order to uh, determine risks, to manage mm -hmm. risks, to measure opportunities, to measure returns. And that information is the only product that financial mm -hmm. institutions have to sell. And P2P lending is, provides mm -hmm. us a disruption to the general right. flow of information in the sense that now we have individual lenders and individual borrowers, generally consumers and small businesses, who uh, interact directly mm -hmm. without the need of an intermediary. And the question was, how does that information channel change as a result of this direct connection? Mm -hmm. We found both lenders and borrowers benefit from social interconnections through connections like Facebook mm -hmm. and because that provided information that reduced the cost of loans for borrowers and increased the performance of loans for lenders. So it was a win-win situation. How did you assess the intensity of the social interaction? Um, it's, this was a geographic aggregation mm -hmm. and we found, surprisingly enough, a brand new information channel that information about the general in, uh, environment and attitudes in these two geographically mm -hmm. distant counties improve loan outcomes. And you're very active in research and in teaching and a number of activities outside the department with the business community. Tell us about some of the activities coming uh, in the next few months or years. Okay, so um, in keeping with my line of yeah. research is information. Right. We're business faculty. Mm -hmm. I don't think we should be walled off right. from the business community or the regulatory or the government or, or the general public. I think we should share our information mm -hmm. with the general public. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that uh, I think um, that we're, that are, that's coming up that I think will be very exciting over the next years mm -hmm. will be um, what we're calling a financial innovation mm -hmm. lab mm -hmm. at, Z at Zicklin. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. We look forward to learning more about that. Thank and you. thank you, Linda. Thank you.